<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey guys, it's Sean Mayo here, and uh, with the advent of the newest uh, updates to Tactical Arbitrage, there's a, uh, a lot of great stuff that uh, were been um, that we've been doing that uh, a lot of people may not have thought of. So uh, one of the great things is uh, the reverse product search. And what this allows us to do is upload a list of UPCs or ASINs uh, into Tactical Arbitrage, and it's going to show us the best places to find those products. Uh, so uh, what I haven't seen mentioned that we've been doing is uh, taking all the items that we're currently selling on Amazon and um, uploading them to find the best places to buy them at, or... Uh, just places to buy them in general. You know, if it's a product you found, uh, you know, sourcing in an unconventional way as we do, uh, we get a lot of liquidation and, you know, items from thrift stores or yard sales, um, a lot of discontinued items. So uh, in this case, you can, uh, you can download your, um, you know, the list of products that you have at the fulfillment centers and upload them right into the reverse product search. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so basically, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, over to reports. Um, you have to log into Seller Central first, of course. Uh, then if you go to reports and then uh, where it says fulfillment, you're going to get to this page. It's going to look like this when you come here uh, for the first time. Uh, then under inventory, we're going to click on show more. Uh, and then it's going to take us over to this page. Uh, we want to go to the one that says Manage FBA Inventory. And if you click on uh, the Download tab, you can click on Request Download. It takes a few minutes, but once it's done, you can just uh, click Download here. And it's going to bring up a file in um, Notepad or whatever your text reader is. So uh, the easiest way to do it is to just drag and drop it right into um, into Drive, so um, this Google Drive, so if we go and if we click on New and then Google Sheets, uh, it'll open a blank Google Sheet. Uh, and then you can either import it or the easiest way is if, you're, if it's a notepad, you can just select all and drag it, uh, drag it in here, Control uh, A. So you can hit control A and copy, and then just go over here in the first cell and paste it, and it's going to bring it up uh, like this. It's going to be in uh, alphabetical order uh, by the SKU. So uh, it takes a minute to do that. Um, but if you have one like me, um, we didn't start uh, putting in the dates until... Um, beginning of 2013. Before that, it was uh, just a lot of random, uh, randomly generated SKUs. Uh, so we have uh, somewhere in the range of 3,000 SKUs, um, actually 3,069 on uh, this account. We have two different accounts. So this one um, has 3,000 different SKUs. Uh, there's a limit of 2,500. Uh, so uh, I I don't think most of you will have uh, over 2,500 lines, but if you do, uh, you can either copy this into a new file um, or, you know, delete some that you don't want. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete some of these lines. So we're just going to delete the row, uh, <coughs> delete those rows, so we're under 2,500. Uh, and then uh, if we go back over to Tactical Arbitrage, uh, what we can do is for the reverse product search, um, I always like to start with a template. So I'm just going to click on Upload New File here. 
and then to download your example, click here. Uh, so we're going to let it open a new bulk example, and this is going to show you what it looks like. So uh, we're not going to be using APC, uh, UPCs here, so I'm just going to delete those. Uh, you have to leave the header. It has to be in this exact format. Uh, so if we go over here, we copy the ASIN. I'm, see, I selected the whole column, so I'm going to copy this column over here. See, the ASIN has to be capitalized, so um, I always like to keep everything in the exact same format. Uh, so I'm just going to copy it from here, and I'm going to paste it over here. And uh, just so I make sure, I always uh, copy the exact things that are in there. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so we're going to go back over uh, to Tactical Arbitrage, and we're going to select our file that we saved and upload it. So once you browse for it and select the file, uh, just click on Upload. Now if you go over the 2500 lines, it'll tell you that, uh, and it'll say it's only going to import the first uh, 2500 lines. Uh, and then we're just going to select our filter settings. Um, remove ranks over 100,000 and keep it only if the ROI is at least 50% and show Amazon's out of stock. Of course you can change and add any settings uh, that you like here. Um, if it doesn't find the ASIN, like uh, if the ASIN was deleted, something like that, uh, it would do a title search. I'm not going to do that. I only want uh, exact matches. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and click Submit. And it's going to start uh, running, running the list. Uh, so when it, once it got to four, it found the item. It looks like it, it jet um, and target. Skip both of those because of the rank filter, but it is finding them. Um, a lot of these, it's finding them. Of, of course, they're ASIN, so it's finding them on Amazon, uh, but it's not finding them at other places. So. Uh, so this file will run till it gets through uh, the whole 2500, which is the limit currently, and uh, then we'll be able to look at the results. Uh, you can just click on View Data and see the results as they come up. And that's all there is to it. It's going to run through it, and now you'll be able to uh, have put together a list of all the best prices on uh, the products you currently uh, have in your inventory. Um, and you can do this with any list of UPCs or ASINs, but this is just one idea of things you can do and what, um, what we're going to be doing uh, quite regularly. Thanks a lot.